Today we will be making some spiders in Blender. Really fast, super easy. Uh, if you haven't already seen my video, it's like 6 seconds long of the spider animation test, you should definitely go watch it and smash it. Okay, so the first step to making a spider is going to be uh, sculpting, and we're going to be sculpting it. So you're going to add a subsurf modifier to your cube and go over to the sculpting tab. These are just the settings that I use, but instead of relative detail, you want to use brush detail, and that will get you some cool stuff. Also make sure uh, symmetry is on, otherwise you'll end up with half of a spider and that's not good. Not cool. When you're sculpting a spider, they have uh, eight legs and they also have only two sections. Look at a ton of reference for this. Reference is the key to sculpting. If you have a reference by you, your sculpt will look a lot better magically. I don't know how. Uh, so first you're going to sculpt the body and then you sculpt the legs second and just sculpt one leg and then you can in edit mode you can duplicate it and position them where you want. You can be precise if you want or not. I made a second spider for this tutorial. And so this one isn't as detailed as the first one. You can use Boolean modifiers to uh, join them all together so that you have a, well, still trashy, but nicer looking mesh. Next step is rigging. And I looked up some reference and it looks like um, spiders don't actually have bones. So we can skip this step. Okay, so to rig the spider, you're just gonna add in the main controller bone for the whole spider. And then you're gonna have a bone for the head, bone for like the teeth things or whatever. I think they, I don't know. And then a uh, bone for the back. Then you are going to have bones for the legs. You can just make one for one leg and then duplicate it for all the other legs. Makes uh, it a lot easier. So there's gonna be a few extra bones by the legs because uh, we're gonna set up an IK system. I think that's what it's called. And it's gonna make animation a lot easier. You're gonna add an extra bone right by the foot of the spider. And then you're gonna add a bone like right above like where the knee I guess would be. You're gonna select the first one that you put in there and then you're gonna select this bone and then push shift I. And by pushing shift I it'll bring up this little thing and you click two active bone or something, whatever this says there. Then you're gonna go over to the bone constraints tab and you're going to select the bone that you put above the knee for the pull target. And then make sure the chain length is set to two and you can mess with the angle until it is where you want to be at and then you can just duplicate that over and over make sure that's all parented to the main controller bone and voila that's how i rig the spider on to the materials so for the materials i once again look up some reference for this uh that's it's really important can't stress how much you're supposed to use some reference this is just like a hand painted texture that i did this is what it looks like you can copy it if you want also, I UV projected it, so I did. I went to the top view and I did project from view, and so the, this texture is the same top and bottom, which it turned out okay. So, also I forgot to mention that uh, you guys should like this video and subscribe right now. Thank you. And the last step is particles, and this is what makes the spider from looking uh, like this and to this. So it looks, it looks a lot better with particles. You're going to use two particle systems. The first particle system is going to be kind of a bunch of shorter hairs. You're going to want to have a lot of hair for this one. And then kind of just uh, comb it down the legs and comb it to make it look good. Once again, use reference. And then the second particle system, you're going to make uh, longer hairs. These are kind of like the stray ways. If you check this box that says advanced and then go down to where it says like physics, you can, you can mess with this little slider and that will like make them bendy weird like It'll make it look a lot better. And uh, that's it. Like and subscribe. Bye.